for uh, a couple of young kids who probably are far less nervous than their parents. Wonder how the mums are doing at this particular uh -huh. juncture. Dads probably aren't worried. There's like, look at Johnny's over there by himself on the back straight. And I'm just looking at, yeah. Should we put a rope on him and haul him in like we do with the witch's hat? Yeah, Wayne Dick was just, uh, Dickie was just checking out just then that the front wheels are a bit of a punter deal. There's one each way, so better to put the car on the infield, the Donnybrook Hotel number one car. So I think we're about to go green very shortly, just trying to get uh, Luke and Clayton to the rear of the <laughs> Competitive little devils, aren't they? They already want to take their place in the field. Yeah, I wonder who taught them that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, they're not up the front at least. Just uh, the 26 car of uh, Manane is also uh, a newcomer to Newcastle, but not a newcomer to driving. So, Clayton, who uh, works at his part-time at McDonald's in Cessnock, is a student by day. We're set to go green. Only the first V8 Super Sedan race of the night. Carrie gets very sideways coming out of the turn, and as a result, Bajan is able to go through into the lead. Down the back straight away. In a Tetran turn, we run and Carrig up to second. Watts in a third. He comes Barry Lee down low on Hickey as they come out of turn number four. Careful not to get too close coming out of turn number four. Ollie, you might have to explain a Hickey to your wife. Yeah. Oh, Joel Carrig is really sideways. So is Hickey in the 15. He gets way out of shape. Davis is just in front of him. And the two Pine boys. Having a good run. Meanwhile, Ollie, it's all one-way traffic at the moment for Max Bajant. Thanks indeed, Wade. Moving into the halfway mark for this opening heat for the Super Sedans here, brought to you by Wins. Where else but the Wins, Newcastle Speedway, and Bajant setting up a commanding lead as he hits the main straightaway this time around. No change further back with young Carrick sitting nicely on the circuit at the moment, as is Barry Lee bringing up a very solid third at the moment as Barry Lee gets the tail right out against the wall across turns one and two. There are still splashes of sunlight for the drivers as they come from uh, turns one and two over to the back section now, but as the sun begins to sink into the west, of course, that will disappear, and as Wade has suggested, so will the temperature. Oh, it's getting cooler already, Ollie. I'm watching Ron Pine chewing away on his fingernails on the infield as Clayton tries an outside line on Hickey. And uh, Luke trying the lower part of the track. Now Barry Lee has got through into second spot and starting to open up a bit of ground over Joel Carrig. Watts back then to Davis. Durham is doing a pretty good job. I wonder if he's any relation to Bull Durham. Back then, Hickey, look out, he goes high. Here comes Clayton. Oh, that's a move down to be proud of. Just a little bit of a rub coming out of turn number two. And Clayton's put himself up a spot now as well as I think Joel struggling just a little bit here as the yellows. Down between turns three and four, Wade, it looks like uh, we've lost... Durham. Yeah, Glenn Durham. Uh, Did you say uh, Durham or Durham? Front. I don't know. I'm uh, probably stuffing it up, aren't well, I? I guess if you're Irish, it's Durham. <laughs> no bull. Yeah, it's the Pink Panther. Durham. Durham. Well, Durham. I think it's Durham. pretty... Durham. <laughs> Sorry. That's Sorry. a shocker. I thought it was good. <laughs> it's good for an opener. During the time you had to come up with it, I guess <laughs> it's not bad. So everybody basking in this brief but brilliant sunshine. Well, I think they're doing okay, Ollie, the two young fellas. Oh, yeah, just uh, picking their way around the circuit and uh, attacking cars here and there as required. But uh, you can bet the dads will be just checking over the body panels and the uh, and see if they've exchanged any... Uh, well, I don't think we can really gather... Tire brands. We can't really gain any, really any idea of how they're going to go in this first no. heat. I think that the track is... Uh, it will come in a lot faster, and later on in the night we'll start to see how they handle the cars, but... At the moment, we're not really going to get an accurate idea of, of how they're enjoying the experience. Young Luke is uh, he's just turned 18 years of age, only a couple of uh, weekends ago, and uh, works for Moncrief Fabrications in Western, actually, as an apprentice fitter and turner. Clayton goes to, uh, to high school still, 16 years of age, and as I said in his part-time, works at Macca's in Cessnock. So if you're ever out at Macca's in Cessnock, say, I'll have a Big Mac and I want to meet Clayton Pine. Yeah, well, all the rest of the kids are into computers and football. <laughs> yes. He's into super sedans. That's incredible. Well, he's still doing a lot of karting. In fact, he's still yep. very, very active. The only reason they didn't go to Adelaide for a big championship meet there just recently was because he had his uh, mid-year mid exams. So school is very much a priority, and I think both dads don't want their boys to get too caught up in racing. 
at the expense of the education. Bajant will lead him away again, speaking of an education. Everyone's trying to learn to get past Bajant at the moment. Barry Lee in the second spot has been very fast this year. Joel Carrick is wrestling this car around and doing a pretty neat job with it. The number 50 car of Craig Davis, the manual transmission factory EF Falcon, tries it on Brian Watts with one lap to go. Barry Lee is coming on strong, Ellie. Barry Lee has been impressive all the way through this race, Wade. Just overcooks at that time, running up into turn one. Runs for the dive on the low turn, but that's where he picks up some moisture. That kicked the front end of the eight car right out. But uh, even in these closing stages, no, he won't happen. The black and white is out. Max Bajan takes the win over Barry Lee. Very fast finishing Barry Lee. An incredible job to know Joel Carey in the double one car. So there's still a little bit of moisture out there, Wade. Oh, there'll be some moisture out there for some time soon. I think that there's no moisture in the corners of Tron and uh, Ron Pine's yeah. mouths, but... <laughs> Good drive to Max Bajan, one of the true nice guys of Super Sedan Racing. Nice drive, too, to Barry Lee in the Owls Fuel Pontiac. Might have a quick chat with Clayton Pine, I think, and just ask him whether he enjoyed that experience. Nice drive, too, from Joel Carrick. I think he had to work a little bit with the car. They'll probably make some changes. As Clayton pulls up, we'll have a quick chat with him and just ask him for his experiences. I bet it's pretty different to the speed car yeah, and the go-kart. Probably the not cars, quite as nimble yes. as the speed car, Ollie, I don't think. This has got a roof and everything. <laughs> Clayton, how was that, mate? Oh, it was unreal, you know. The, it was just, just awesome. The big cars, the power, it was just unbelievable. The track is a bit wet, but yeah, in, in the end, I started to get a handle on it. But uh, it's got to be a little less nimble than the speed car. It probably takes a bit more time to react, does it? Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's ex that's exactly right. You know, it's it's a lot bigger and and it feels it feels it actually feels a lot slower than the speed car, although the times aren't that much slower. But yeah, it's taken a bit of getting used to. Have a good night for the rest of the night. We'll speak to you later on. That's Clayton Pine as the Amka Nationals get set.